Jefferson Avenue is symbolic of who we were as a community and as a city, but also where we're going tomorrow as a community and as a city. And I think if we have a future, it's this partnership between the public and the private, between government and the community. And it's a partnership that begins in restoring faith and confidence in your ability and our ability to work together, but also to help ourselves. And if you know this neighborhood, the east side, collectively, we must start with commercial strip development. So we believe that the only way to start was here on Jefferson Avenue. We know that we have about five generations still in this district. We know that some of you remember when Jefferson was jumping. Some of you remember the Revlon. Some of you remember the Pine Grill. Some of you remember Mr. D. Some of you remember the Apollo Theater. Some of you remember Pixie, the Mike Lounge. You remember this. You remember uh, Jules, the, uh, Kay's Jewelers over here. So we want to bring that back. Building the neighborhood, that's critical. Because if we are not taking a part in rebuilding our own neighborhood, then we're not gonna have any respect and we're not gonna feel a part, we're not gonna feel connected with that redevelopment. We're gonna be part of the redevelopment, we're gonna share in the jobs that come from redeveloping this area. So Women of Vision, how did that all come about? It came about with concerned citizens that was concerned about Buffalo in general, and we just started talking about different areas of Buffalo, like um, Jefferson, Fillmore, Bailey, different things that was used to be around the area. And one of the focus points that the women really started thinking about was Jefferson, and they thought about all the things that used to go, be over here and all the things that took place over here. It was almost like reminiscing about a lot of things. But what happened after that, we said, well, we should do something about that. And let's start cleaning up and taking pride back in the places where we, used to, where we grew up at and things that we used to do. And the women got together, a lot of women got together in my salon, matter of fact, and, um, and we just formed this, like, 50 women division. And we start cleaning up. One day we just start cleaning up, and we just nonchalant cleaning up. Then all of a sudden, people start taking an interest into it. People in the community, other businesses start taking an interest, so we cleaned up again. So when we start cleaning up, then the people from City Hall start taking an interest into it. Well, what's going over on Jefferson? So we start having all these little meetings and stuff, and the vision was is to like the awakening of people and to stop people from sleeping and to wake up and take back your community and have and take pride within yourself. If you don't start cleaning up and taking pride within yourself, nobody else will care about you. And what happened, people start taking more pride in themselves and start caring a little bit more about their stuff. So they're pitching in to start helping out. And that's the whole vision. The vision is to bring you back up to the surface and see that you can make a change. I don't care if it's just cleaning or painting up your stores or just um, getting the kids together, um, getting your community back together. That's a vision. Stop saying what you want to do, but do what you want to do. It's easy to clean up. Anybody can clean up and anybody can take care of a community because it doesn't call for anything. And then in the future, people can stop bringing things back over here.
here today how important is this for you as a merchant? Oh, it's very important it gives me the opportunity to show you know what I can do and give back to the community and build a community again. Do you think that Jefferson Avenue can come back? I believe so it's still alive we just have to you know keep it alive. How about Jefferson Avenue and the spirit that's here today? Well the, the spirit like today is the spirit of tomorrow in the sense of a change then um they showed a very a positive, effective outcome. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think that black people need to do in order to change and heal the land? Well, I feel we have to look inner, within ourselves. Because once we decide to change, the reality is already spoken for. In order to change a perfect reality, you must change first yourself. We have a program called self-improvement as the basis for community development. So if we feel that we want to now change the community, first we have to change ourselves. I knew over the years, right? Well, I grew up maybe 20 blocks from this area. Okay, tell me what you think it was and what it could be. Well, what I saw was... Uh, uh, in the day, back in the day? Back in the day or far back in the day. <laughs> well, back... Uh, what is that? Is that... Is that what I think it is? What? That's Debbie, isn't it? Yeah. We Debbie, I didn't even realize it was you. <laughs> Go on, Debbie. Tell me what it used to be like and what you think it could be. Well, where I'm sitting from, that building right over there, um, 1267, whatever it is, that was the headquarters for Lee's campaign when he ran for mayor. So I saw, like, the vitality that was here, the unity of the people. What was it like here for people that didn't know? 
that didn't know. What Jefferson? What was Jefferson Avenue one of the time like? For me, it was it was uh, a home away from home because we had we had we were protected. We were protected by the Panther um, the Panther Party. We had meetings. We had. Um, like the push organization was here, then you had jazz and all kind of different events going on that made this a, a vital force to the um, environment in this area, or just for us anyway. So I grew up two or three blocks, so for me it's like the heartbeat of our community. His name is Mason Faber. He's going to be coming to you in just a moment.
gonna do? We're gonna place that fold as a triangle, fold the seam. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, who's gonna come first? Over this way. Okay. Over this way. Okay. Roll. Lift up. You got it. Come in. Fold. Okay. Okay. Hold one more time. Yep, you have yep, to. Yep. yep. Press up one more time. Wait. <laughs> like the flag, sort of, huh? Uh -huh. Right. Yeah, yeah, the pitch is What do you make of the day, Mr. Menifee? What's that? What do you make of the day? I think the day was a success. All we need to do is get some money down here on Jefferson and uh, maybe things like this can be really meaningful. So if you got some money, you watching this, come and build something down here so we can spend some money in your place. Well, what does this say about 50 Women of Vision? It says we're hard-working women. We're God-fearing, faith-walking women. Door to the end. That's right. Together, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. 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 <laughs> you want to lift it up, buddy? Oh, yeah. 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 Council Member Brown, hard at work. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Council Member Brown. Working hard for you. For the masses. Uh oh. What was that? No. Okay. Well, see, we got you when you started. Now we're going to get you when you finish. Camelade. Where's this tape going to be used? Oh. All right, go on. I got the gym bag. This one will have your tank, brother. All right, I'm going to piss them. Come on. That's a good job. The brothers are masking. Mark it up. Somebody here. I got all the board of hair. Uh, oh, you know how to see my folding chair? What? Okay, what? Beige. I don't know. Metal. I don't know. Oh, now we can just give you anybody who would get colorblind. Well, we got a few. Well, the day's over. Well, yes, it is. I'm glad we had a good time. Yeah, it was all worth it. Believe that. Many more. We're going to have many more times like this. Yeah. The eye of the storm all day. You all, you have potato chips in your mouth. Could you please give me a statement? You open the back I'm tired. I'm glad it's over. And all that good food that we had here, I didn't get a chance to even taste any. Oh, my God. But I am um, hyper. I'm very glad that it worked out perfectly and that's all I need. Mm -hmm. and so what did you say about 50 Women of Vision? That we, uh, to, 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 together we pull together uh, and, and uh, separately we fall. But I'm so glad that we came together and we made a success out of it. So the dream is already being realized. What do you see next as far that's as the community? I mean, what can they learn from what we've done today? Well, most definitely, we know that this was 30 years in the making. As I said once before, that this avenue had not been reviewed um, since the rise in 62, 65. And so now we, 50 women with the vision, with the help of our men behind us, sometimes we're even pu pulling them, kicking and screaming. But we're pulling it forward, so that means we're pulling the community together. What does it say? What does it say for the future? That we will once again see a thriving commercial strip in the heart of the African American community, where the entire city can come over and eat and drink and be merry and just praise God and, and just have a good time over here and circulate some dollars, create jobs and opportunities. So it says that we have our work cut out for us. Most definitely, we must all sit down now and put the plan together in black and white, and then our job is to, once we put it together, to go sell it to the public. They're pulling cable and all. What are your thoughts on just the whole day now? My thoughts were that this was a beautiful day that really reflects the, in the excitement and the enthusiasm on the part of the community to see Jefferson Avenue restored and revitalized. I think we heard from people as we walked around and talked to folks um, that were out here today, the, the many thousands of people that were out here today, that they want to see uh, this street revitalized, they want to see this street reborn, they're willing to spend their dollars on Jefferson 
Jefferson Avenue. They're willing to come to Jefferson Avenue. And I think the other thing that was really unique and exciting is that we saw people from all parts of the city and all parts of the county who came here for this festival because they remember Jefferson in its, in its heyday, um, because uh, they have a sense of uh, uh, allegiance to what the street once offered in the way of culture and arts and entertainment, and they'd like to see that on Jefferson Avenue again. So I think there's really hope that we can revitalize this, um, this street and, uh, and make this a vibrant commercial and residential district. Thank you.